Welcome to the Rickroll plank. Basically, got a Raspberry Pi Zero here, and connected a antenna, and on here is running a radio broadcaster. And I've uh, downloaded a famous song, which is being broadcast on an FM frequency to all local radios in the vicinity. And the idea is I've set this up at work, and people, hopefully for April the first. If they tune into the radio station, we'll be able to hear it. Now it's on uh, 102 FM, so you can just see there. If I tune it in, there we have the prank. So I've set that up on the Raspberry Pi. It automatically loads. Um, it automatically um, starts as well and starts broadcasting. So I could hide it anywhere, power it, and uh, prank people. If you want to see how it works, then I'll explain uh, in the next stage of this video. So we're going to show you how to set this up for yourself so you can uh, broadcast your own music or Rick Roll anybody who's got an FM radio. Um, now the Raspberry Pi doesn't use a GUI, a graphical user interface, so I'm going to use a program called Putty to access the command line. And, uh, oh, let's try it again. Here we go. So this is just set up for the normal login details for the Raspberry Pi. And now I'm into my Raspberry Pi. And what I'm going to do first of all is show you the folder. So this is the home folder and in here I've downloaded the um, Pi FM programs and you'll need to download these as well. I'll put a link in the notes below so you can download them straight into the home folder and this is the Rickroll track, sorry, um, this is the Rickroll track here, number two I'm using, and this is the Rickroll program, and I'll just open that up for you. So this is written in Python, and you can see it's very simple, import the operating system, import time, wait 10 seconds, um, this is uh, this line is added because when you boot up the Raspberry Pi Zero it takes a little while to boot up and uh, I didn't want the program running before the Raspberry Pi was fully loaded so it's just a little delay there. This is just a print statement to make sure the program is running <coughs> Excuse me. and then on a loop here we have um, sudo dot pi fm rickroll and then this is the frequency fm frequency 102 it'll play that Rickroll track and you're up and running. Now if you are going to make your own song I used uh, Audacity and again this is a free download um, let's I don't know if I've got any audio I can import no but when you um, when you do your track there's a number of things that you'll have to do first of all change the frequency hertz to 22050 and also you're going to want to mix it down um, if I can I don't know if I've got any tracks let me see if I've if I've got any I'll probably delete them and put them all in the recycling bin Yes, okay, so let's just go back. Let's drag a track out from here. Okay, let's try. 
try again. So, going to go file, import your music track or your audio track. And you'll notice here it's in stereo, um, which will cause the track to run slowly, um, which is quite funny, but obviously you can't <laughs> identify what the song is. So what you have to do is mix this down. And in order to do that, if I can remember where it is, there you go, it's under tracks, mix, and it's um, mix stereo down to mono. So now you've got one track, change that to 2205, file export as a WAV file, and that will then play on your Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look at it in action. So here's your Raspberry Pi Zero and you'll notice that I've put in an antennae which is a simple wire and this is on GPIO pin number four so if I show you like that okay so it's the fourth pin in on the left hand side one two three four obviously the longer you can make this the better the broadcast signal and here we have a portable radio and I turn it on so at the moment we're on 102 you can just about hear it so you can just hear um, the rickroll there you'll notice though we're not quite on 102 which is why the signal is uh, crackly but if I tune it in you'll be able to hear the rickroll here we go So I hope you enjoyed that and it was helpful. If you've got any questions um, or any comments or you build your own, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.